Welcome back. My name is Jessica D. Perez. I'm a plein air painter painting in the open air. Follow me as we adventure out in the field. Good morning and welcome to Out in the Field. It has been a while since I've taken my brush to the canvas. A lot of those previous episodes were filmed all in one shot, but since I've had the time now to go ahead and paint again, I did find myself wondering if I still had what it takes to make these paintings. As the sun was rising, I noticed the very dark gold that was coming out in the sky and I wanted to first replicate that. The sky started to really push out some gorgeous magenta colors and it felt like an infinity before I could figure out how to mix the right colors and digging through the boxes of paint, I just realized that I forgot my titanium white or I ran out or something, so what felt like a mild panic to find the right mixing colors, I also remembered that I do actually have some fluorescent paint. Sometimes I feel rushed and when it's been a while I do feel that I fumble here and there. So when I grabbed the fluorescent paints I found myself mixing and wondering if this is going to be the right color and how do I apply this right. One of the things I did notice about that sky was how the blue behind the light really held the top of the color and at the bottom of the cloud is really the reflected light from underneath. The deep magenta that kind of had this burning coal center was lit up at the top of the other sky in the clouds. I find that when we take a break and we want to get back into painting and we truly expect ourselves to be where we left off, that's not always the case. Sometimes it is, but there's always sort of this initial fear that you're just not going to put down what you used to put down. And practice makes perfect and so does consistency. So when I've taken a pause, and now that I've returned, I do have just a small shred of fear that I'm not going to be able to pound this out the way that I used to. So taking a deep breath, perhaps having a little bit more coffee than usual, and just kind of taking my time to approach instead of going in head first with the confidence that I used to have. I find that it's okay to have those moments and I also find that they're an important part of our process as artists because when you take a break and find yourself hesitant, you do remain humble. One of the important things about growing as an artist and growing as a person is being humble about where you've come from and what it's taken to get you there. And until the day you die, you're gonna be on that journey. So if it's been a while, don't fret. Just remind yourself, you've been here before, you can do it again. Once I added on the Jenkins green and the follow blue that really made the silhouette of that tree line. The popping magenta from behind the trees that we originally saw is exactly what was shown on that painting. 
It is really good to always have such a stark contrast with bright colors. It can really emphasize that fire that you catch in the sunrise. I know that on this episode I am looking out of the balcony instead of being out in the field, but it's all about reacclimating yourself. The winter months are coming, and we are going to be finding ourselves with big jackets on and big boots on and new hiking trails. So find your jacket and join me next time out in the field.